Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Gwen and this is Home to Inspire DIY and Decor. Today I would like to share how I created a cute Easter and spring wreath using mostly Dollar Tree items as well as some things I already had on hand. Let's get started. These are the items that I will be using for this DIY. A variety of florals and greenery. And most of these were already in my stash coming from the Dollar Tree. Some may have came from Walmart. But you can use whatever types of florals or greeneries that you choose. But these are the ones that I already had on hand and I wanted to make use of them. These boxwoods right here actually came from Walmart. And again, they're just random pieces. Um, then these roses I end up not using. I was debating on using it, but I went a different route. I'm also taking a hula skirt, which was left over from previous DIYs from the Dollar Tree, as well as two packs of speckled eggs. And these are plastic, but they already have this speckled look to them. So the straw wreath that I'm using is from a thrift store. I did remove the plastic from it just to have more ease in applying all of the florals, but you can keep the plastic if you don't want all the mess of the straw coming apart and just hot gluing the florals onto the plastic. But I wanted it to look more natural, um, which is why I decided to remove it. So as I mentioned, this hula skirt is a leftover from many DIYs that I've used it for. I just took the remaining that I had in hand and just glued it throughout this straw wreath, just covering the majority of that wreath. And you'll want to trim off any long pieces and just spread the, the straw, or you can also use raffia, and just make sure that you give the straw wreath a good coverage. Next, I'm taking these plastic speckled eggs and just hot gluing them to the inner part of that circle of this wreath, just like this. And I'm basically making sure that I evenly disperse the eggs and that I alternate the colors so I don't have the same color side by side. And those two packs of eggs was the perfect amount to cover the inside of this wreath. You will want to apply a little pressure and hold it down just a few seconds just to make sure that it has good adhesion to the wreath. Next thing I did was take some of these greenery floral picks and I'm just spreading them out, making sure that I have them evenly spread out throughout this wreath. And this is gonna be the first layer of the greeneries. And I just use some hot glue to stick those into this wreath. Then you'll want to start layering all of the florals that you choose. Here I'm taking some of these uh, deep pink colored flowers. I'm not sure the name of them. I also had some pink carnations on hand. And I like the look um, to be somewhat symmetrical. So I tried to make sure that I put the same amount of flowers and the same, uh, the same type of flowers within each bundle um, within uh, the sections that I created. Sorry if my explanation is confusing, but basically what I'm trying to say is when I created this wreath, I took like four, three or four types of florals, which is the dark pink color. I think those are zinnias, possibly. Um, the light pink carnation, as well as some white hydrangeas. And that could have been it. And then basically I formed like clusters of those florals and I made sure to create the same cluster a um, few more times and just repeat the same process. So I think in this wreath I ended up with three clusters of the same types of flowers within each cluster. You'll see what I'm talking about here. 
I'm speeding up the process because the step is pretty repetitive, just basically hot gluing and applying the florals into the wreath base. So as you can see here on the right side, I made a cluster of uh, flowers and I'm doing the same thing to the left side. And then I also did it for the, um, the top right and the bottom left. So I just wanted to create like balance and symmetry and that's essentially how I did this. But wreaths also look nice when you have it sort of asymmetrical where you have flowers coming down on one side or just um, down uh, across the middle or across the top. But in this case, I wanted it to have this type of look. So again, you can customize this to your preference. Then taking some of these sort of um, frosted looking greenery picks from the Dollar Tree. Again, these were already in my stash. And I decided to just add this just for more variety, a little bit um, more texture and contrast. It does have that frosted look to it, which gives it a little uh, variation in the colors of the florals. And I just cut off um, different parts of the picks and just inserted it um, in between those clusters. And that was pretty much it for this very simple wreath. Um, I didn't want to bore you with the repetitive um, steps in creating this, so I did speed it up a whole lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think it came out super precious. It's adorable for Easter, and you can keep it around for springtime as well. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to share my videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate each and every one of you especially to my subscribers and to all my viewers that have come back each time I post a new video. Please don't forget to also set your notification bell and make sure that you click all so that YouTube can notify you every time I upload a new video. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish you and your family a happy Easter and I hope to see you in my next video. Until next time, take care.